Every second of every day, thousands of new videos are being published on the internet. Some are funny, educational and mysterious, and others are just damn right strange. Well, I've been searching all over the internet and found some very strange and eerie ones that I'm sure will get you thinking, especially number three. City in the Sky This piece of footage was filmed by several people in 2015 and appears to show a city in the clouds floating over Fushan in China. It was also reported a few days later in Shangxi. It appears to show an array of skyscrapers drifting in the sky and only appeared for a few minutes before disappearing. Local residents were astounded by the sight of this apparent city in the sky, with many believing they had witnessed a parallel universe. Take a look. The most credible explanation for it is that it's an optical illusion known as a Fata Morgana, which is a type of mirage that distorts distant objects that can then show them up in the sky or sea. But despite this explanation, many believe it was the result of a Project Bluebeam test conducted by NASA to try and stimulate an alien invasion of Earth, or that it was the second coming of Christ through holograms. What do you think? Was it something more unexplainable, or was it simply an incredible one-of-a-kind Fata Morgana caused by a change in temperature? Either way, it would have been an incredible thing to witness. This next one is very odd. I was going to save it for a strangest YouTube channel's video, but feel that's been done a lot by other channels lately. And although this isn't one video, they are all exactly the same, which is what makes it so unusual. Every few days, a guy called Benjamin Bennett uploads a video to YouTube of him sat on the floor smiling for four hours straight. He has uploaded 171 videos as of the start of 2016 and is continuing to upload a few videos per week, all of which are him sitting and smiling at the camera. He never says a word and is so dedicated to this so-called artistic project that during one session he carried on videoing himself sitting and smiling despite someone breaking into his flat and opening the door to check if anyone was in there. Take a look. How he could sit there whilst that person opened the door is crazy. He hasn't really said why he does this and isn't showing any sign of stopping, but you can't help but admire his patience and I would love to know what his average view duration is on the videos. On May the 9th, 2015, an unusual video was uploaded to YouTube. The video's title and description was in binary code, which converted the title read death and the description you got one year less. The video contained a person wearing a plague mask, something that was worn by doctors during the plague times. It was filmed in an abandoned building and was riddled with secret messages and hidden codes. Despite the video being very eerie, it went relatively unnoticed until something strange happened. In October 2015, Johnny Krabitschler of the blog Gadgets.com received a package containing a DVD that was possibly sent from Warsaw. He watched the DVD and it was the same footage that had been uploaded to YouTube a few months previously. As you can imagine, Johnny was wondering what was going on and after writing a blog about it, the mystery and the popularity of the original video blew up. Take a look at it. The more people who were watching it, the more secrets were being spotted and deciphered, and once the Redditors got their hands on it, things got really interesting. In the video, people found that once put through an audio spectrogram, the background sounds contained images thought to show someone being tortured from a movie scene. More binary code reading you still has one year less, a few images and the text oh you're still alive. 
Also the words, you are already dead, a skull and a series of encrypted numbers was found in the music in the DVD menu version that Johnny had been sent. In the video itself, a few strange things are going on. There are coordinates to the White House and a line of Morse code that reads, red lips like 10th or kill the president if rearranged. After researching, people found the video was filmed in an abandoned sanatorium in Otwick, Poland, and didn't in fact originate from YouTube, but from the paranormal board on 4chan shortly before being published to YouTube. The person who posted it said a random girl gave it to him, who said she found the DVD on a park bench. If you're confused, then you're certainly not alone, but there is a whole lot more that would make for a far too long a video. But one last thing to mention is that about three months after Johnny received the DVD, a man by the name of Parker Warner Wright stated that he had created the video. He announced that he would release another video, which he did on the 31st of December 2015, but on a different YouTube channel to the original channel that released the first video. Parker's channel does have the original video on there, but it was uploaded months after the first YouTube video was released. When asked why he couldn't upload it to the original channel, he said he couldn't remember the password. Parker told a reporter that he was a US citizen living in Poland, and that the original video and the second video were for an art project. He said after finishing the video in May 2015, he had left two copies of the video on discs in a subway and a park in Poland, and sent one to Gadgets.com. When asked why he sent it there, he said he had a business card from them and just decided to send them a copy. This could be true, but since many have claimed that they are the original creators of the first video, and the fact that stating to kill the president doesn't really sound like an art project, who knows the truth? What do you think? Do you think Parker was behind it, or is he just trying to gain some fame from it? If he isn't behind it, then the purpose and the creator of the video still remains a mystery. Creepy Witch Footage Now this next piece of footage is really strange. I'm not 100% sure what exactly is going on, but it's thought to have been recorded near the Saudi Arabian border in the middle of nowhere, and although there really isn't any information on it, I think it speaks for itself. That sure is creepy, I really wish there was more information on it. People have said it's some kind of witch, and sorcery and witchcraft are punishable by death in Saudi Arabia. So if it is fake, I wonder if the people who faked it would get into trouble for doing so. Apparently, the police were called and searched the area the next day but found nothing. It can't be confirmed if it's real or a hoax, but many say the man's reaction sounds pretty genuine, and the fact he goes off-road to get away from whatever that person was doing adds to its credibility. But who knows? If it is real, then I wonder what that person was doing in the pitch black in the middle of nowhere by themselves. Horton Mine, Nevada I can make up for the lack of information on the previous video with this one, and it's a real good one. It was caught by Frank, a mine explorer, who has explored over a hundred abandoned mines and uploaded his adventures to his YouTube channel. Now the thing to note about him and this piece of footage is that Frank is not a paranormal hunter or anything of the sort. He is a mine explorer. His passion is in exploring and documenting abandoned mines in Nevada, California and Arizona. And judging by Frank's other videos, there's no real reason to think this footage is faked in any way. It started in the summer of 2013 when Frank was exploring the abandoned 1800s Victorine Mine in a mountainous area of Nevada, when he spotted a borehole into the Horton Mine. After assessing the risk, he decided to proceed into the tunnel and almost immediately felt an eerie presence and cold spots. I'm sure he is used to the atmosphere of abandoned mines, but this one was something different. As he went further into the tunnel, a few chains hanging from the top were moving very slightly, 
but one chain was swinging very unnaturally in comparison to the rest, and for no obvious reason. I don't know why that one chain is swinging back there. I don't know if you can see that in the video or not. Yeah, this mine definitely has a very spooky vibe to it. So I'm gonna head back out and check out the other stuff that's here. This is just too wet, too muddy. Um, and obviously something is making the chains uh, swing, so. Time to get the hell out of here. That's very strange, but it doesn't end here, and that certainly isn't the best bit. The following year, Frank visited the same tunnel, deciding this time to go in a bit further, even though the sinister presence was still lingering. As he neared the end of the tunnel, he felt a sudden blast of cold air before hearing what sounds like voices from a radio. Take a look and listen. Okay, here's a final parting shot of the end of the Horton Tunnel. And, uh... There's the uh, ore pass with all the cascading water and um, what the f is that? I don't know what that was, but uh, there was a sudden blast of cold air and uh, I'm getting out of here. Frank was alone both times and has no explanation for what happened. Like I said, I don't feel he would have faked this. That's not to say it's paranormal, but it's certainly creepy and unexplained. What could have possibly been in a mine that's been abandoned for years that would have produced that sound? What do you think? So that's it for this video. I hope you've enjoyed and don't forget to leave your theories on these videos in the comments. Thanks again and I'll see you next week for another one.